A force acting on a body is always the result of its interaction with another body. So force always come in pairs. The force that you exert on, a, on the body is in the opposite direction to the force that body exerts on you. Experiments show that whenever two bodies interact, the two forces that they exert on each other are always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Thus, the Newton's third law of motion states that if body A exert on body B an action, then body B exert a force on body A, a reaction. So these two forces have the same magnitude but are opposite in direction. So these two forces act on different bodies. So the first, the force exerted by A, body A, on body B is equal to the negative force of the uh, exerted by body B on body A. So in the statement of the third law, action and reaction are the two opposite forces. We sometimes refer to them as an action-reaction pair. These forces are not present only in contact forces. It also applies to long-range forces that do not require physical contact. So let's have here a conceptual problem. State, uh, it says that after, you, after your sports car breaks down, you start to push it to the nearest repair shop. While the car is starting to move, how does the force you exert on the car compare to the force that the car exert on you? How do these forces compare when you are pushing the car along at a constant speed? So what does the Newton's third law say about this? So Newton's third law says that in both cases, the force you exert on the car exerts on you. It's true that you have to push harder to get the car going than to keep it going. But no matter how hard you push on the car, the car pushes just as hard back on you. Newton's third law gives the same result whether the two bodies are at rest, moving with constant velocity or accelerating. Now, try to, solve, try to answer this problem. An apple sits at rest on a table in equilibrium. What forces acts on the apple? What is the reaction forces to each of the forces acting on the apple? What are the action-reaction pairs? So your answer must be, um, must be posted in the comment section.